Welcome to today's Pastor's Perspective. Today we're going back to 2 Samuel chapter 5 to look at verse 17 and following. At this point in our story, David has achieved a great unity among the people of Israel and Judah as a result of his very careful actions under the favor of God. But mostly because of God's favor, he has achieved this unity. Now let's read verse 17. When the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek out David. And when David heard of it, he went down to the stronghold. Now the Philistines came and spread themselves out in the valley of Rephaim. Now you might think that because David has acquired this great unity as a nation, he's been a great warrior, he has a lot of experience, he has a tremendous amount of victory in his past, even with a small group of people, and now with the entire nation being united, let's just go after these Philistines. But listen to the very next verse because it is very critical to all of us. Then David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you give them into my hand? And the Lord said to David, Go up, for I will certainly give the Philistines into your hand. You see, David did not get reckless or careless because of this newfound unity and strength as a nation. He was, in fact, very humble, inquiring carefully to follow the directives of the Lord. He had gotten away from God in the past, and now he was going to be careful to follow him. As a consequence, David did exactly as the Lord instructed him, and they experienced an incredible breakthrough of the Lord against their enemies and won a great victory. But then we read again in verse 22. Now the Philistines came up once again and spread themselves out in the valley of Rephaim. Now David has already inquired of the Lord regarding attacking the Philistines and what strategy to use. You would think David would just go, well, we already have God's favor, we have God's approval. But David is not presumptuous about the strategy that he's about to embrace. Listen to how he responds to the reassembling of their enemy against them. Verse 23, when David inquired of the Lord, he said, you shall not go directly up, circle around behind them, and come at them in the front of the balsam trees. It shall be when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, then you shall act promptly, for the Lord will have gone out before you to strike the army of the Philistines. So again, what we see is this careful inquiry of the Lord results in a whole different strategy than what he experienced before. You see, we just can't write books about our strategies and have other people employ them. We need to embrace the one strategy that we need is to keep coming back to the place of inquiring humbly to the Lord. Now, listen to how David responded to this instruction from the Lord. Verse 25, then David did so just as the Lord had commanded him and struck down the Philistines from Geba as far as Gezar. In other words, what we see as, as David took the time to humble himself and inquire of the Lord, he then carefully followed God's instructions. We're not gonna do it, guys, like we did the last time. Last Sunday, this song worked, but this Sunday, this song might not work. You see, it's important that we don't get presumptuous with God, but he, he wants us to be in that place of humility and dependence so that we'll have continual success before him. Are you inquiring of the Lord about the details of your life? Are you inquiring, Lord, about the battles in your life? Let me pray with you about this right now. Heavenly Father, this is such a significant issue for all of us, whether we be leaders in the church or leaders in our family, it is important to understand that we can't presume on past experiences, we can't lean on our own intellect, we can't lean on our skills, but we need to be found, Lord, in that place of humility and dependence where we are inquiring of God where we go from here. Lord, give us the wisdom that we would humble ourselves and be in the position of constantly looking to you for our direction. Thank you for this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Well, God bless you and thank you again for listening to today's Pastor's Perspective. We look forward to being with you again next week as we look at chapter six. Some really interesting and exciting things are going to come up. I want to encourage you to keep reading this together with us and join us next week for the second Pastor's Perspective in this area. God bless you and have a great weekend.